Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, we're taking this thing off of idle and we're going to wide open throttle on Garage Ed today. We're gonna to talk about the idle air control, IAC motor. Now, what does it do and why is it there? Well, these are kind of older cars. We're gonna look at drive-by wire in a little while, but it allows the air to bypass it. You can see it right here. It's located right on the top between the throttle plates to where the air actually is gonna go into it. Now, here's one right here, you can see it. Now, what's happened is this pintle's running in and out depending on where you run the car. And that's pretty cool because you can look at this graphic right there. Now, the graphic on the screen actually shows it. The throttle plates are split right there down the middle. And what's happening, the air's coming in. It can't get into the engine unless it goes up and around the idle air control and the idle air control runs in and out to control what's going in. Obviously, if it backs out, there's more air, the idle's gonna raise. When it goes down and closes, it lowers the idle because it's cutting off the air supply. Now, in true tech garage fashion, once again, I wanna show it to you in action. How does it work? Well, on the left side of the screen, you see the throttle, and on the right side is the idle air control. It's at 115 counts right now. But if I start up the car, what it's gonna do it's actually gonna change. You can see it right there. The throttle's staying the same, it went up, now it's running back. It's getting the idle under control. It's at about 82 counts. Well, if I give it gas, watch it again. It's gonna come up, it's run back, waiting, 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 waiting. I slam off the throttle, it once again grabs the idle and it starts to get it under control. So a couple problems you can have with an idle air control motor, well, it may be hunting for an idle. It may be looking, is it idling high? Is it idling low? Well, why is that? Well, once again, your little pintle right here. It's very important to keep that little pintle clean. Once I get carbon built up on there, I'm closing that passage and the computer doesn't know that, so you're getting a false reading. Now, the drive-by wire plays by a whole new set of rules. It uses the throttle to get the job done. Heck, Brian's gonna show us what's going on. Well, this is a drive-by wire system, extremely prevalent in today's vehicles, more modern ones. It doesn't have that idle air control motor that John showed you. So here's kind of how it works in action. What we're looking for is the throttle position plate needs to know its home position. If you don't remember back in episode two this year, we showed you how to clean all that, the gum, the varnish, the carbon on the throttle plate. Be sure that's in good order so that it knows home so that this drive motor can control where that sits. Now we're going to start the vehicle up. Go ahead, Abante, fire us up. You can see that as we start the vehicle, we go from 34% open. The ECU is absolutely dedicated to optimizing fuel economy. And if you listen, the idle's going to spool down. There it is in the gauge. We're down to 23%. That's about a 20% swing on the position of that plate with that drive motor. By gosh, it's going to find the optimal position. So now, if you load it up or have a vacuum leak anywhere, keep in mind those vacuum leaks, they'll bite you. Let's just pull a vacuum leak right here, and you can hear it trying to recover. The ECU is trying to figure out where's the unmetered air coming from. That's kind of the erratic behavior of the drive motor now, trying to find home. Let me put this back in. We restabilize. We come back up, and that's how it works on a drive-by-wire system.